Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm doing the top 10 beer review. Well it should be. All depends I suppose. McEwen's Champion. 7.3%. You know and uh, it's one of them. To be fair, the first time I drank it, didn't like it. Drank it, thought, didn't like it at all. But as your taste buds change and as your palate develops um now i drink it and i absolutely love it i love the strength of the beer i mean 7.3 we're talking some nice strength uh, so just poured that out good dark color um obviously it's not black but let me next it's like a, like a dark dark brown dark chestnut color massive white head can't see any lacing. Strong multi aroma. Oh, this is the beer you, you want. The only downside is today I've been on a on a. Well, I got asked to mow someone's garden and clean the garden up, and I'm on the first day of my bloody Easter holidays, and uh, didn't really want to go down, but little old lady. So, uh, so my workmate who I gave the job to in the first place, he let her down and then he's saying he's got a bad hand and he ain't got a bad hand, he's at work. So he obviously didn't want to go back, you know. Uh, the work, uh, it's not easy. It's not... I'm an amenity horticultural specialist, so uh, dealing with flower beds and uh, more intricate weeding is my area of expertise. A lot of these people these days, the glorified mower men or hedge trimmer people you know and uh, so when it comes to the nitty gritty work they struggle because one they don't know the plants the the weeding uh, two it's it's not fast enough you know they can't make a big book out of it so I went today um, and uh, didn't want this is a problem I have with doing private work it's the charging I don't like to charge people and obviously you've got to charge people, you know, they're there to make money. I'm not there to do it for free. But, you know, um, no, I did it. She gave me 25 quid for two hours work. You know, it's tax free. It bloody is tax free. And uh, so I thought, I'll treat myself. So I went to a bargain booze, got a load of beers from bargain booze. Uh, Ten beers from there. And then went to Asden and got another six. So I really crammed up at the moment with beers and uh, great for reviews you know I need to start doing some more wine reviews summer months you know definitely definitely this Christmas I'm thinking of getting these you know these like Prosecco gift gift box um, advent calendars gin advent calendar and uh, what's the other one beer and a wine advent calendar I'm going to get three or four of them I'll tell my kids just about my advent calendars for Christmas because it's a great way of doing 25 reviews for a Pretty decent price as well. But anyway, let me just uh, find some info about McEwen's. McEwen's Champion Ale. Right. So it's got a rating of 3.26 out of 5. From 308 ratings. And... Uh, when you bleed it. It, apparently it used to be known as number one. Then 1997 renamed to number one champion ale after winning a Tesco bottled beer competition. In 2004 renamed to champion production. And production moved to Bedford in late 2011 following the acquisition of McEwen's and Younger brands by Wells and Young's from Heineken. So it makes you wonder what happens now because Wells and Young's have been bought out by Marston's. So, Paul's Deep Red Brown. I did say brown, didn't I? Uh, 4.1 out of 5. Fairly sweet tasting. Multi caramel with a nice bitterness. Very good for ABV and also good value. Four bottles for six quid and a mix and match. Very, very pleased. Co-op. 3.3. Dark amber appearance. Aroma is malty and roasted. Flavour is caramel toffee. Roasted, earthy and bitter. Final one. 3.5 out of 5. Clean brownish amber colour. 
moderate size, slightly beige-ish, off-white head, aroma and taste of toffee, dried fruity and nutty notes, as well as some rye bread and, I presume that says alcohol, not bad. So, yeah, definitely dark in colour, that dark brown in colour. Uh, more of a slightly off-white, I wouldn't say beige, but slightly off-white head. Ooh. Masses of malt, dried fruit. Reminds me of, um, a lot of ways, like, beers like Broadside. You know, and King Goblin, really. The alcohol content, the strength, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's funny how your palate changes. And, uh, yeah, years ago, I hated it. Now, love it. Look at that. Bit of quality. Nice temperature in here tonight. Um, well, uh, it was only 17 at the moment. It was in the 20s earlier. And uh, I've got a bottle. I've got an orange brew going off just there. There you can see it. And uh, orange juice and wine brew going. And it's been in there three days. And for the first two days, I didn't do a bloody thing. Not even a bubble. And now it's starting to bubble. So hopefully it's starting to ferment. Hopefully. I think it's the final one of them I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to uh, do another one. Not a one with cordial in it. I think I've learnt my lesson. It makes too sweet a wine. Um, I want a wine that's a bit more dry, really. It's definitely idiot season. You know, you get a bit of warm weather. And uh, tonight I can hear little twats riding round. And I live in the middle of an estate. Uh, it's not a bad, it's quite a nice estate actually, but the people, the, these dickheads who are riding around, they're on these fucking motorbikes, and uh, they don't even live around here, I don't know where they come from, but because it's a quiet area, you can, and we're in a spig, like, like a circle, so the tracks are going round and round, and uh, you know, I just want to put nails on the road and fucking, you know, cause an accident. With any luck, they'll low probability they'll run into something at some stage, preferably a truck. But, um, you know, and these days there's no police about, is there? So, you know, not much chance of getting caught. Oh, that is absolutely lovely. So, McEwen's, um, they do that beer with a bit of whiskey in it. It's called Headspace now. That's a nice beer. And obviously you've got the normal McEwan's. Um, I don't think I've ever drank that, to be fair. But this is obviously, you know, it's a flagship beer. And damn rightly so as well. You know, it's a very nice uh, beer. And uh, well worth. I mean, for, on a four for six pound deal. You know, that. Imagine get, you're getting that. You're getting King Goblin broadside. And I uh, think of another one quickly. Old Peculiar. You know, most supermarkets have got them in. Four for six quid. You're laughing. Unbelievable price. And uh, for such quality beers as well, you know. Oh, I'm enjoying this. It's it's something to save you. Been on the garden all day. I went, well, did that old woman's garden, come back, been to see Captain Marvel at the cinema. We've got a cinema in Nottingham. Uh, it's actually a, 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 a theatre that runs, does films. And uh, they had Captain Marvel on. And uh, unlike the likes of um, Showcase and Cineworld and all them people, where you have to watch all the adverts beforehand, we sat down on these seats, not the most comfortable of seats, but sat down, bump, straight onto the film, banging. And it was quite a good atmosphere, you know. It wasn't totally full of the cinema, to be fair. But, uh, yeah, it was good, you know. It's good to watch it again. And a much cheaper price than what you'd pay at Showbox. Show Showbox? Showcase. Yeah, much cheaper price. You know, about £5.80 for adults, four sixty for kids. So, you know, all three of us for like 16 quid, you know, just over... So, can't fault it. Oh, 
Oh. It's an experience, isn't it? You know, um, your top 10 beers. I mean, if if you're like me and you've drank a lot of different beers over the years, I mean, I wish I'd have started reviewing nine or 10 years ago, uh, when I was, just before I started in Sainsbury's, because I've drank so many different beers. And, you know, I could be reviewing into the thousands by now. Um, but hey, oh, it's all, you know, it's all good trying to get them and uh, you know I, even in the supermarkets now I bet there's many in Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Asda, Morrison's that I haven't done and that's just on the beer front you know then you've got the lagers, ciders, uh, spirits and wines that's why I do all of them you know because it's interesting it's interesting to do them all and even now doing that like, still spirits as well you know um, which I will do um, some more of because uh, I do like um, the it's amazing how you can turn vodka or, you know, distilled spirit, if you can do that way, and turn it into, you know, whatever you want, you know. It's it's wacky, isn't it, you know. And it's obviously what uh, breweries are doing up and down the country now. You know, lots of Blue Monkey in Nottingham, they're doing their gins. So they're, they're distilling um, the alcohol, um, and then they're obviously adding, adding flavours to it to make it into a gin liqueur. Amazing, you know. Absolutely lovely. The maltiness and like that dried fruit, um, caramel toffee, you know, it's all there and it's really absolutely delicious, you know. And, uh, you know, you can see why some of these beers, you know, stand the test of time. I mean, um, my top 10 beers, you know, off my head, some of the some of my favourite beers. Whether the top ten now, I don't know because it's. I'd need to drink them all again, one after another, and see which is which, which is the best. But Fuller's eighteen forty five, Fuller's Golden Pride, Fuller's London Porter, um, um, McEwen's Champion, obviously, uh, sixteen ninety eight from Shepherd and Neem, um, Adnams Broadside. That's a recent contender. Um, Oh, King Goblin. Um, and that's just a few, you know. There's been so many fantastic beers out there. I mean, obviously, there's the run-of-the-mill beers, but not every beer can be a top ten beer, can it? You know, so you need beers for the masses because not everybody likes strong beers. Old Roger, Marston's, that, that, that went out my top ten. And last time I drank it, jumped back in firmly. So, you know, amazing. But this fella, definitely top ten. Oh. So, breaking it down. Brown in, brown in colour. Off-white head. Big off-white head. Couldn't see lacing and carbonation because of the colour. Maltiness in the aroma. In the taste... Maltiness, fruity caramel, toffee, masses of malt, masses of alcohol strength. You know, you know you're drinking something strong. I'm sure it's made my face go red. Um, it's like, it's like food. You know, it is such a nice beer. Um, if that's not in your top ten, most people's top ten, I'd be surprised. Uh, although if people can't take. The alcohol strength, because obviously it is 7.3, so it is strong. Um, it might not be, but for those people, for, for many seasoned beer drinkers, you know, all day long in, in anybody's top 10, I would have thought. Anyway, so out of five, I nearly forgot. Um, 4.65 out of five. Fantastic. Absolutely loved it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.